Hi guys, I'm Miss Karen from the Boone County Public Library and I want to thank you for joining us today. We're going to do a fun project using items that you can just find around the house. So you need cardboard, any shape you want is fine. You need yarn or string, tape, foil, permanent markers, a pair of scissors, and glue is handy but you don't have to have it. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take a piece of tape Take the end of our yarn and we're going to tape it to the back of our cardboard. There we go. And we are just going to wrap the yarn around the cardboard a bunch of times, however you like, just so that there's lots of lines on there. And just keep wrapping till you're happy with it. There we go. So I'm going to turn this over and cut the end and put a piece of tape right there. Be very careful when you're using the scissors and be careful when you're tearing off the foil. This is very sharp. So have a grown up help you. We're going to take a piece of foil and put the shiny side up. And then we're gonna put on some glue. And this is fun, because I'm one of those people who likes to get glue on my hands. So I'm just gonna spread this out. You don't have to do this part, but your project does turn out a little better if you do. All right, so there's our glue. And this is the part where we taped. This is the part that's gonna be the important part of our project. So this part, the important part goes down on our glue. And then we see our tape here. We're gonna pull the foil sides up, nice and tight. And then these ends, you can wrap like a package or do however you want. You can always ask a grown up to help with part of this if you want, but I think you can do it. There we go. Nice and tight. And if I press on this now, you can see the yarn coming through. Right? And what you want to do, I'm going to show you another one here, is you want to keep rubbing and rubbing between the yarn until the yarn is really prominent and you can really see it. After you get to that point, then you get to decorate with markers. And so you go in between these sections with the yarn and you use your permanent markers and you color this part in. There we go. And this is a fun way to make an embossed foil project. There's one other way that you can do this I took a favorite picture of a fish and I glued yarn down and then I glued my picture to a piece of cardboard from a shipping box. Then I followed the same procedure and I came out with a fish picture that I have yet to color in. But that's another way that you can do an embossed foil project. So I hope that you guys have time to try these projects. And remember, ask a grown-up's permission and be careful when you're using things like scissors and the cutting edge of foil. I'm Miss Karen from the Boone County Public Library. I hope you join us again for another program. Thank you.